one guy who came to me, he was a very religious young man. He was like 22 and he was always a great singer. And his dad, who's actually a rabbi, his dad, who's actually a rabbi, like my son, let's call him Jesse. Jesse can't sing anymore. And it's breaking our heart at the Shabbat table. So it's such a beautiful thing. They sit and they sing at the Shabbos table every week. And so I put my hand like as close as I could get to his throat without being uncomfortable. And I said, what's in there? And he's like, my throat. And I was like, okay, I can tell there there's resistance here. We're going to figure out what's blocking your voice. And so we sit down and he's got his, you know, head and his back up against the wall. And we do like this mindful meditation. And within seconds, he's able to tell me what's in front of his vocal cords. And it was a, it was a barbed wire fence and the tears just start streaming down his face. And I said, what do you think it is? And then we drew it out. Well, he has a twin brother and a year ago, his brother got engaged. He started dating a girl a year ago and then he got married. Like, I don't know, within like six months and then bada bing, like Orthodox, they're married, whatever. And so for the last six months, cause it, it was like a six month turnaround time, his brother left the house. He's stuck at home with his parents and this twin brother lost his voice at the wedding. And I never came back. And I said, what do you, what do you think is in there? I said, just stay with me a little longer. And he said, my brother took my voice. We were always together. And at his wedding, he moved on and I'm still at home, stuck behind this fence. And And so for you, it was moving your body. For him, it was a decision he made about his voice because it was his biggest pleasure. And Mm -hmm. Maybe that's kind of tied in with harmony. I was like, did you harmonize with your brother? He's like, yeah, he'd always take the top part and I would take the bottom harmonies. And so he felt like this, you know, without his brother. Mm. And I think sometimes we punish ourselves, whether it's with food, you know, this happens with like a lot of women. And it's weird because you think like you have to eat. Why would you take that away from yourself? And it's like, well, trauma is real. And it shows up in pain bodies in our body. And so for an artist or even anyone who wants to express themselves, whether they're dancing or they're singing or is like a public speaker, you know, we all can find ways to cut our our creativity and our pleasure centers because we're trying to protect ourselves. So they're kind of like connected in that way. And it was so amazing because I, of course, I had to give him practical tools for his physical body, like get off of spicy foods for a while and make sure you're super hydrated and go on vocal rest a few days and stop whispering. And, you know, there's lots of things you can do to actually help your vocal cords physically, Mm -hmm. but within weeks, he was back to his voice. The most awesome thing about this particular gentleman is that within like a year, he was married. Wow. 